All right, Shalom, Shalom, another gem. It's only go back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith with God. So people here for better his heart right into it. Second Ezra is the 15th chapter. Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel is edified, which consists of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Blow it up some. Coming straight out the Bible. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 1, and it reads, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people. The words of prophecy. See, the Lord got us telling you exactly what he was going to do before he even do it, man. All right? Which I will put in thy mouth, save the Lord. It caused them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Let's jump down. Verse 4. For all the unfaithful shall die in the unfaithfulness. So, so what if some don't believe? The Israelites that don't believe, you, you, see, what it's, you see what it says is going to happen to you, right? That they all might be damned that believe in a lie. You, you don't believe in the truth, but you a damn sure believe in a lie. You Negroes, Latins, and Native American, and so-called, you will believe in a lie. You won't believe the truth, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So what I'm reading, the Israelites that don't comply, the Israelites that don't believe, what does it say? They shall die in their unfaithfulness, right? Behold, said the Lord, Yahweh by Shemel was shot. I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, right? All these things are coming. All these things are happening as I read, man. As I read the words coming off this page, everything that I'm reading is happening in real time, right about now. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Let's just jump down. It's one of his points. The Lord said, Go and speak to my people the words of prophecy, right? Let's see. Egypt, aka America, verse 12. Second Ezra chapter 15 verse 12, Egypt, aka America, shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plagues, man, with the plague, and the punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. So the Lord said, I'm bringing the plagues upon this wicked, sinful kingdom, man. Wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful, their hurtful works are fulfilled. Now it's time for me to make my move now. Egypt shall mourn. Remember, it's high time to awake out of sleep because salvation is nearer than what we believe. This is not our rest. This is not our rest. Evils and only evils, man. Behold, it's come. Let's just jump down. 14, 2 Ezra 15, 14. Just a quick little hit. Woe to the world, destruction to the world, and them that dwell therein. For the sword of their destruction draw nigh. And what, what's the modern day sword? The gat, the blicky, the stick. And one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. Race wars, class wars, civil wars, the economic war. When this system crash, look, people's heads are going to roll. Every man and woman for himself. You see, if you ain't got your how about Shem Yahweh Shai, who the even call God and Jesus on your side, you know you know you through. You know you through, right? It says, for one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hand. Which represents that blicky, you see? The uh, the stick, whatever, whatever. Um, the um, the bong bong. You know what I'm saying a man should desire to go into a city and shall not be able, because when it when it really start popping off, they're gonna declare martial law. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. These are all the things that are coming down the pipeline. No one, I mean, absolutely no one would be able to stop it, right? A man shall have no pity upon his day. While everybody's playing around, this is what the Lord got coming down the pipeline. The love of many already then wax cold already. Nobody don't give a damn about each other already. So what makes you think this can't happen? Verse 19. What makes you think verse 19 can't happen? A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, man. And the modern day sword is the gun. You see? Or any killing instrument, man. No one's going to have pity on your neighbor. Ain't going to love you in that day. They might speak to you right about now. Hey, how you doing? Have a good day. See you later on. And all that. Come on, man. But in these times, in these troubling times, it's fastly approaching. We're in the beginning stages of it. Because remember, the Lord said these are the beginning of evils. You see? This is the beginning of sorrows. So wait till it really get turned up, right? Because this is the year turn up. And spoil mean to rob their goods. 
because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, all hell breaking loose. You see, and the worse it get, it's going to be worse for you people out here, mainly you Israelites, man. Because remember, it's Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble, right? Let's jump down. Let's see. 27. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 27. For now, not later, for now all the plagues come upon the whole earth. Ain't nowhere to run. Ain't nowhere to hide. Our only place of refuge is within these scriptures. Remember the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and it's safe. For now all the plagues come upon the whole earth and ye shall remain in them. The Israelites that didn't turn back, you're going to remain in them. For the Most High shall not deliver you because ye have sinned against him. Let's jump down. Let's jump down to verse 49. These are all the things that's in the midst right about now. 49, Second Ezra 15, 49. I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence. So waste thy houses with destruction and death. But you thought it was party time though, right? Remember Israel, the majority of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they, they laughed and scoffed at the word. Remember, so there was no remedy. You laughed and scoffed, you know what I'm saying? To, and you wrote a check that your ass couldn't catch, but it's going to be on you soon, come though, right? Let's go to Sarah. Sarah the 40th chapter. Just a lesson on what's really coming on the pipeline. The Lord said, go out there and prophesy. Let them know what's going to happen before it even happened. Sarah also known as Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter 40. Chapter 40. Verse um, 8, such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast, and that is sevenfold more upon sinners, a complete number of things. We go through this all the time. A complete number of things is going to happen upon the sinners of our people, man. And what is sin transgressing under the law? Because the law is still in effect. We're supposed to at least rehearse, it, rehearse the righteous acts to the best of our ability. No exceptions to the rule. You see? Death and bloodshed, strife and sword calamities famine tribulation and the scorch these things are created for the wicked remember the lord said go tell them what's going to happen before it even happened these things are created for the wicked and for their sakes came the flood so the flood happened to do what to get away the, to get rid of the wicked people that was on the earth man only eight souls got delivered during that time man eight souls man not a million, not a thousand. Let's get this. Ezekiel. Let's, let's blow it up some. It's going to just blow it up some. Ezekiel chapter 7. Let's see. Ezekiel chapter 7. Come on now. Bear with me. Ezekiel chapter 7. I want to start at 5. Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 5. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai and evil, meaning bad times, and only evil, meaning more bad times, behold, it's come. And now, now look around. Look around, Israel. What, what, what do you see going throughout the four corners of the earth? Evils, right? And only evils, right? Let's see what the other versions say. Let's see what the other versions say. Let's click on this. Let's see what the other Bibles say. Because it's King James Version said, Thus saith the Lord in evil, and only evil behold has come. Let's see what the other ones say. Um, the new King James Version, Thus saith the Lord, a disaster, a singular disaster behold has come, the NLT. This is what the sovereign Lord says. Disaster after disaster is coming your way. Disaster on top of disaster, man. Disaster on look, not evils and only evils, man. You see? Look at the NIV. This is what the sovereign Lord says. Disaster. Unheard of disaster. Remember, going right back to Matthew, the 24th chapter, tribulation never seen before on the face of the earth. See, it comes. It comes, man. And, and on and so forth and so on, man. A disaster. Look, look. Um, the NASB 20. This is what the Lord Power has to say. Well, this is what the Lord Power says. Let's see. Look, you see the name right there, Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? It's the most high speaking, right? A disaster. A unique disaster. Not just a disaster, but a unique. You know what I'm saying? Very well orchestrated. A unique disaster, behold, is coming, man. But, but yeah, let's party. You see, let's party and, and, and have fun and all that, you know? 
You, you see all them different versions, man. In evil and only evil, man. Evil, behold, is come. Let's read on. It says, an end is come, an end of this age. The end is come, and it watches for thee. Behold, it is come. Look, and it's going to get worse. And he ain't getting no better, man, here in Babylon, the great man. Let's jump down to 25. Let's see what that says in these different versions. We'll read it in the, um, the King James Version first. Destruction cometh, and they shall see peace. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 5. Destruction cometh, and they shall see peace, and there shall be none. Remember, go out there and tell them what's going to end. The phone chimed in. Go out there and tell them what's going to happen before it even happened, right? Destruction cometh, man. Evils, bad times cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Let's see what the other translations say. Let's go to the other translations. Let's see. Oh, look, look, the NLT, terrible, Ezekiel 7 and 25 in the NLT, terrible, uh, terror and terrible and uh, terror and trembling will overcome my people. You see, they will look for peace, but not find it. The Lord's good. Look, remember, I quoted it through the spirit, Jacob's trouble. Remember, all these things were created for the wicked. The Lord said, terror and trembling will overcome my people. You see? You thought everything was a joke, though, right? Everything was a joke. It was all funny, right? It was all good just a week ago, right? They will look for peace, but not find it, man. All right? They won't, they won't find it. Let's just say the Lord. Let's say the Bible, man. Anguish is coming. They will look for peace. But there would be none. And the Lord told us to go tell them what's going to happen before it even happened, man. Terror is coming. Ezekiel 7, 25. Terror is coming. They will seek peace, but find none, man. All right? And that's thus said the Lord. Thus said the Bible. Thus said the Lord. Thus said the Bible. Let's get um First Thessalonians. The fifth chapter. Let's just get that right quick. See what that says in these different versions, man. You see, it's blowing up some. This is um, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. But of the time of the season, brethren, look, the day of the Lord, right? You see it at the headings. But, but the time of the season, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. And pursuant to Joel, the first chapter, it's going to come as a destruction. We're going to see if we can get that too. First Thessalonians 5 and 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, that's what everybody's promoting. Peace and safety. It's all, don't worry, don't worry, be happy. It's going to be all lovey devil. You ain't got nothing to worry about. But the Lord said, go out there and tell them what is coming. Go tell them that they do got something to worry about, right? For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them as travail upon a one with child, and they shall not escape. Going right back to Sirach. Going right back to Sirach. Let's just get that right quick. Going right back to Sirach, the fifth chapter. Let's just get that. They're telling you that peace and safety is coming. But what are the prophets of the Lord are saying, man? Starting off with the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone. Sirach chapter 5, verse 7, and it reads... Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. These false pastors and prophets telling you that everything's all love, love. Just take your time, follow your career. You know what I'm saying, get into the Hollywood scene, go be an actor, go be a rapper, things of that nature. Start you a record label. Well, what is the Lord saying? Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Don't wait when it comes to seeking the Lord and putting that off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth when you least expect it. And in thy and in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. That's what's coming, man. Vengeance, not love, not hugs. Because once again, First Thessalonians chapter five verse three: For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Let's see what the other versions say. Let's see what these other versions say. Let's see. Damn, can't, then, uh, well, you see what that say. All right, let's see. NLT, when people are saying everything is peaceful and secure, ain't that what everybody else is saying? Ain't that what everybody else is saying? Everything is peaceful and secure, then disaster will fall on them as suddenly as a pregnant woman's labor pains begin. 
and there will be no escape. So you Israelite men and you Israelite women that are not taking heed to what the scriptures are saying, your way is grass, man. Straight up, man. They, they will not be able to escape. When people are saying everything is peaceful, everything's secure, everything's fine, everything is all lovey dovey, that's when that's when the Lord gonna bring that wrath upon you, man. You see it. You see it. You look, you ain't gotta take our word for it. You do not have to take our word for it, man. Let's just get, just get Joel right quick, man. It's going down. Either way, Joel, the first chapter. Let's get that right quick. Let's just get it. Joel, chapter 1. Let's go down, son. Come on now. Joel, chapter 1. Let's see. 15. Joel, chapter 1, verse 15. Let's blow it up, son. Joel, chapter 1, verse 15. Come on now. Joel chapter 1 verse 15, alas, for the day, for the day of the Lord, Yahweh, Baha Hashem Yahweh is at hand, and as a destruction from the Almighty shall come. That's why the Lord says, seek him, while he may be found. Call ye upon him, while he is near. Let's, let's get the other Bibles. Let's see what that say. Uh, the NLT, for the day of the Lord is near. The, the day when destruction comes from the Almighty, how terrible that day will be. How terrible that day will be. But ain't, the, the majority of the Israelites ain't seeking the Lord, though, even though this is going to be a terrible day, man. Let, let's see what else. See what pretty, pretty much is uh, the CSB. Woe because of that day. For the day of the Lord is near and will come as a devastation from the Almighty, man. You see, um, the N the N E T. How awful that day will be for the Lord. For the day of the Lord is near. It will it will come as a destruction from the divine destroyer, man. The divine destroyer, man. You see, and so forth on and so on, man. You you see it. That's how it's getting ready to go down, Israel. All that playing around is going to, it's going to finally catch up to you, man. All that playing around is going to finally catch up to you, man. Let me let's get um Joel. Let's let's go over a chapter. Let's go over a chapter. Nah, I want I wanted to go over a chapter. Let's go back. Let's go back. On Joel two, yeah, Joel chapter two, verse one. Blow you the trumpet. In Zion, which is which is us, the Hebrew Israelites. The trumpet is this word from from the Hebrew word to Zion, which means my man, right? The word Zion, and and sound an alarm in my holy mount. That's exactly what we're doing, right? Let all the inhabitants, you, you hear that, right? You you hear that, right? You hear that, right? Look, as soon as I said blow a trumpet, then here come a trumpet, a fire trumpet from a from a uh, fire truck rolling past. That's the Lord, man. It sounded an alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand, man. You see, for it is nearer than what we believe, man. And this is going into the missiles, how the missiles are going to destroy this land mass called America. And you ain't got it so wet if some don't believe, man. You people ain't got to believe it. We don't, we don't give a damn. That's why I said, fear the Lord. That's why the scriptures over and over and over and over again. It says, fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You see? Matter of fact, let's go back here. Let's go back to the blue letter. We'll get, we'll get Hebrews right quick. Let's get Hebrews. Yep. We're going to the book of the Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 10. Let's blow it up. Hebrews chapter 10. Come on now. Hebrews chapter 10. We'll start at 30. For we know him that have said, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 30. For we know him that have said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, saith the Lord. Yeah, how about Shemiah Shine again? The Lord shall judge his people. Let's see what these other versions say. See what the other versions say. Let's see. Um, NLT. Well, we'll read the um, New King James Version. For we know him, for we know him who said, Vengeance is mine. See, our only job is just to teach the word. The Lord gonna handle anybody that came up against us. 
any scoffers, mockers, bitches that came up against us, thotties, you know what I'm saying, whatever you want to call it, man, um, you know, ninjas, um, monkeys, gorillas, um, gremlins, the Lord said, vengeance is mine, he going to repay them back, I will repay, save the Lord, and again, the Lord shall judge his people, right, NLT, for we know the one who said, I will take vengeance, I will pay them back, the Lord said, I'm going to pay them back, he also said the Lord will judge his own people. You see? Oh, yeah. Um, for we know him, the, N the NIV, for we know him, for we know him who said, it is mine to avenge. I will repay. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. You see what it's saying? You see, the Lord's going to take vengeance on his people, man, on two thirds of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Verse 31, Hebrews 10, 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. A fearful thing, Israel. Let's get it into different versions. And I got one more, and I'm going to end it. Pretty much saying the same thing. NLT, it is a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living power. NIV, it is a dreadful thing. Now, what it say? Let the fear of the Lord be your dread. It is a dreadful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. You see, it is a the CB, the CSB. It is a terrifying thing to fall into the hands of the living power. And so forth and so on. Let's get, let's get Jeremiah right quick. Look, 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 look right here. Yahweh shy or judgment. You know what I'm saying? Take heed to the word or receive judgment, man. You see? You, you saw that? You see, the take heed to the word or receive judgment, like the Apostle Kabar like to go into all the time. When words can't teach, adversity will. Just know that. Let's blow this up, son. When words can't teach, adversity will. Let's get Jeremiah. Jeremiah 11. Jeremiah chapter 11. I'm going to go straight to the point. Jeremiah chapter 11. I want to see what it's saying these um, other... Um, Versions of the Bible. Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 11, and it says, Therefore, save the Lord, Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, behold, I will bring evil upon them. Meaning the bad times, right? Remember, evil and only evil, behold, is come, right? Which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will now hearken unto them. Let's see what the other versions say. The Lord ain't playing. He's going to get down on you, Israelites, man. Let's see. Um, NLT. Therefore, this is what the Lord says. That's why we always say, thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible. I am going to bring calamity upon them, and they will not escape. And though they beg for mercy, that's what the Israelites are going to do soon come. The Israelites, they didn't turn back. You're going to beg for mercy, man. All right? I will not listen to their cries, man. And the Lord called, man. Going to the NIV. Therefore, this is what the Lord says. I will bring on them a disaster that they cannot escape. Although they cry out to me, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, forgive me for all my BS, forgive me. I should have took heed to the promise. I should have, I should have, I should have, I should have. Too late, man. And though they, look, look, what it say? And although they cry out to me, Lord, help, help. Come on, man. I will not listen to them, man. Dude, are you not hearing what the scriptures say? The Lord said he's going to bring a disaster upon you, man. And you ain't going to be able to escape, man. And, and, it, and it is what it is, man. So it's, it's a beautiful and scary thing at the same time, man. That's why the Lord said, go out there and give them one for me. All right? Matter of fact, let's go to 14. Let's go to 14. Jeremiah 11 and 14. And it reads... Therefore, pray not thou for this people. Once they start catching hair, remember the Israelites they didn't take heed. Remember, they didn't take heed, Israel. All right? Therefore, pray not thou for this people. Neither lift up a cry or prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry to me for their help, man. You remember, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Since thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Remember that? Let's go here to the other versions. Go to the other versions. See what they say. Uh, the NLT. Pray no more for this people. Jeremiah. Do not weep or pray for them. 
for I will not listen to them when they cry out to me in distress, man. And that's exactly what's coming upon these people. Distress, man. They're going to be stressed the hell out, man. NIV, do not pray for this people or offer any plea. Lord, have mercy on them. Lord, have mercy on them. Lord, no, no. Or offer any plea or petition for them because I will not listen when they call to me in the time of their distress, man. You see? Matter of fact, let's go to the fifth chapter. Jeremiah, let's go. One, two, three. Matter of fact, let's just get it. Jeremiah. Let's get Jeremiah. To, what is it? The fifth, no, the 15th chapter. Matter of fact, let's go up some. Let's see. Is that it? 12, 13. Bear with me. Jeremiah chapter 15. Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 1. This said the Lord. Look, judgment must come. You see it at the heading. Judgment must come. Because remember, judgment comes each and every day. But the unjust know of no shame. Then said the Lord unto me, though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind, and he, look, he, he, look, he told Jeremiah the same thing that he told Moses and Samuel, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. And it shall come to pass. Listen now, and it shall come to pass. If they say unto thee, whether shall we go forth? You didn't want to take heed to the word and then all hell coming upon you. Now what are we going to do? What, what are we going to do now? We're gonna do now, boss. Then thou shalt then thou shalt tell them, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, such as are for death to death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. Listen to what the other versions say. See what the other versions got to say, man. Let's see. Pretty much the same thing. Pretty much the same thing. It's pretty much saying the same thing. Let's go back. Let's go back. Verse uh, three. And I will point over them. And I will point over them four kinds. Look, the Lord said, "Go tell them what's going to happen before it even happened, right?" And I will point over them four kinds, said the Lord. Yahweh by Shimei will shine the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of heaven, meaning these different birds, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. And it's just, just some of the things that the Lord's going to bring upon the majority of our people, man. You see? Let's get into these other versions, see what they say. Let's see. Look, look, now I'm the New King James Version, and I will point over them four Four forms of destruction. You see? Says the Lord. The sword to slay the dogs to drag. Drag them. The birds of the heavens. And the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. That, that went cold right there, man. The dogs going to be dragging you down the damn street. Taking you in the woods and all that, man. I will send the NLT. I will send four kinds of destroyers against them. Remember the spirits created with vengeance, right? Said the Lord. I will send the sword to kill. The dogs to drag away into the woods some damn well. The vultures. Remember we going to the vultures, the eagles, the different birds. To devour and the wild animals to finish up what is left. <laughs> the NLT go hard, man. And the wild animals to finish what is left, man. You mean you you just like don't want to take heed to what's saying? Oh man. Oh man. Damn. The Lord gonna have these animals look devour you, and these wild creatures, these wild beasts, gonna drag you away into the woods. Look, still ignoring the words of the Bible. Still ignoring the words of the Bible. Let's get one more. Let's get one more, and I'm going to wrap it up. Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles chapter 15. I want to see what this say in the different versions. Second Chronicles chapter 15. Let's jump on down. I'm going to just go straight to the point. 15 verse 13. Second Chronicles chapter 15 verse 13. And it says that whosoever would not seek the Lord power of Israel should be put to death. 
whether small or great, whether man or woman. Look, look, that's plain. Let's see what the other versions say, though. Yeah, that, uh, that Jeremiah, the, the, uh, the 15th chapter went hard, man. You see? The NLT. They agree that anyone who refused to seek the Lord, this is um, this is 2 Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13, in the NLT. They agree that anyone who refuses to seek the Lord, the power of Israel would be put to death. It ain't no might be put to death. I think about it. Hold on. Give me a second. Whether young or old, whether man or woman. All right? The NIV. All who would not seek the Lord, the power of Israel, were to be put to death. Whether small or great, whether man or woman. And the Lord said, look, go tell them these things before it even happened, man. All right, remember that, that famine coming? That famine coming? Matter of fact, let's see what, this is what Jeremiah had to say, the 20th chapter. Let's, let's check out Jeremiah one more time. Then I'm going to wrap it up. Remember, should there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. Remember, our job is to prophesy. Remember. Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 8 and it reads the prophets that have been before me and before the old prophesied the same thing the Lord told Ezra they prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and pestilence and that's starting off with the head apostles slash elder bishop of great millstone that's exactly what we do so let's go here uh, let's see the NLT the ancient prophets who, who preceded who preceded you and me spoke against many nations, also warned of war, dis disaster, and disease. Um, the, NI the NIV. From early times, the prophets who preceded you and me have prophesied, prophesied war, disaster, and plague against many countries and against and, and great kingdoms, man. All right? And, and it is what it is. The Israelites that don't take heed, just get caught up in the wrath of the Lord. That's, that's the only thing you need to wait for. Getting caught up in the wrath of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Give them warning from me. And evil, and look, look, and only evil, behold, is come. Shalom.